So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time of day it is for you. For me, it is 2.53. It's a Tuesday to something, and uh, I thought since I've not made a video in a while, and I have had to go out, um, I would uh, make one on my way home. So, I mean, I've been out. I had to uh, drop some uh, mail off because my grandparents live on a narrowboat. So, uh, and their post comes to us, and uh, we had posts that they needed. So, uh, it was just a case of. Uh, basically. Uh, going, <coughs> going in the, because they've got a uh, a cratch, so like a cover over the front, um, just uh, dropping it off there. Quick chat and then go home. So I thought, well. That's about a 30 minute each way trip, so uh, yeah, definitely nice to get out. It was a lot sunny earlier, a couple of degrees warmer, but uh, I mean, I can't really complain on the old temperature front. So I thought I'd just make an update video because it's about the only video worth making these days. Um, so uh, obviously those of you that sort of know me uh, know that I work for a McChain and obviously uh, the McChain is open. So I'm obviously still working, and not, which I would say annoyingly, and uh, the whole argument of should we be open is a different, different video, a different discussion for a different day. But the fact is, I'm at work, and I'm doing three days a week. I'm getting furloughed for the rest. It's uh, it's 2.2 miles direct way, or I think it's about five miles if you go a slightly longer way. Which is a nice actual route time, so uh, no loss there. Um, the obviously two year review I was planning on making, uh, half sort of made it for the Honda. Uh, that's obviously gone by the by. So at some point that will get made. Who knows, it'll probably turn into a three year review. Who knows? Uh, so yeah, there's that. Um, an update on the mileage on the Honda, which I will put into the, re the review, is we're knocking on the door of 61,200 miles. Uh, for context, I picked this up 1st December 2018 with 24, just under 24,000 on it. So yeah, it's a well used and abused bike. Uh, the, the snow, obviously if you follow me on Instagram you've seen that I did have to go shopping. And I did put a picture, what I didn't tell you is that I may have had a slight off. Um, so I didn't break anything, I just went to gear selector and I got a whole new the, a whole new set for uh, 20 quid on eBay, 20 25 quid on eBay off a of salvage bike so uh, annoying but nothing expensive uh, 
I've yet to fit it. I'll put a picture on. You can see that it's uh, quite bent. It was bent before because I did hit the course uh, in the summer, which there is a video. Um, I should edit it actually because it's been well the, that car's been for its MOT so it's clearly uh, sorted and really that's about it I've just spent like most people uh, a lot of time on the internet uh, thinking about sort of camping again And I did order some big Pezza stickers and he did send me a note saying uh, that we go camping again soon. So, uh, although I didn't make a video on that, Big Pezza did. I've linked it before, I think. But I will definitely link it again. And, uh, yes, mainly I've been looking at panniers. Uh, because those of you that follow the channel for uh, in the past sort of couple of years will know that I ran the top uh, ran this bike with a Jivy top box, so that was Jivy rack, which created a nice flush surface for the throw over panniers. However, the Honda grab handles do not provide a flush surface, and if you've seen the pictures, um, they're a bit. Uh, they don't particularly mark very well. Usable, but not very well. Um, so I've been looking at possible throwovers, um, but what I'm actually sort of planning on doing is going Honda OEMs. Um, purely um, because I'm not going aluminium panniers again, because obviously they react with the road salt and grime and they're just a bit too big bit too expensive um, because with Bennett's I can have 400 pounds worth of fixed accessories so um, and I'll put a tweet thread up and it confirms that yep it's what I value them at so if I buy for 400 they're valued at 400 I'm all good The 29s where my throw over is 25, so I'm going up in capacity and obviously one key. Admittedly, they can only hold three kilos. Uh, the heaviest thing that I take is a tent, and that is 3.08 kilos. So uh, that can go in the bag that I use on the back seat. And then my panniers are for cooking stuff and clothes and so that's the plan it's just a case of um, sourcing everything but of course lockdown is still a thing so I've got plenty of time nothing's new, nothing's really cracking off uh, lockdown can fuck off but I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to sound. I'm going back this way. I don't want to sound like um, a negative Nancy, as some people would say. And I don't want to be. Sounding. I don't know, like that I'm sucking ass. Uh, but with that four step plan that he's announced, I'm not going to go into if it's a good plan, if it's a bad plan. Um, if that plan happens, then we may get a decent year. Um, worst case scenario, the whole thing goes kaput and we end up back doing what we're doing at the minute. But I mean, if we could have a repeat of last summer. I'll be happy. So hopefully I can get away a bit more. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at places. Uh, I, again, I I don't know how international travel is going to going to fare. Um, but certainly I'm looking at UK 
um, sort of plans and obviously Scotland and Northern, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales are doing their own thing um, I'd like to do Scotland and I've been put onto the, um, the video by Nathan Millwood of the Creek Clover and uh, I showed the route to my grandma online um, I spoke to my other grandma and she's originally from Scotland she knows a lot of, a, a lot of the areas and she says that there's some good selection of roads there so hopefully if that's the case then we, we can do that just depending how Scotland goes again I'd like to see more Wales depending on what Wales do but again a worst case situation I'm stuck in England um, But that's not really a bad thing because I've never done Cornwall, I've never really done the South, so uh, or the North really for that matter. So uh, there's plenty for me to do. Definitely get a week in this year. And I mean, in an ideal world, I want to go to the Isle of Man this year, but I don't know how that's going to happen. Not for the TT. I'd like to go to, to see the island in its normal times, but... I don't know, we'll have to see. There's not a lot I can do. But there's nothing I can do, just wait. Obviously the one advantage of all this waiting and not, go, and not going away, not that I really take holidays, but not going away is that my holiday pay pot keeps increasing. So, um, when we are let go, I could take a long holiday. But uh, we'll have to see. I mean, knowing that our, our restaurant is due a refit, we're sort of due this year this year next year or no, be last year and this year I think it was due um, I'm guessing when the, the locks down ease they'll eventually do it and my plan is because that'll be a month uh, my plan is to leave my holiday pay and hopefully um, be allowed to take it all off as holiday and spend a month away but uh, as I said I don't know if that'll be this this year next year don't know either way I hope that everyone's sort of plodding along and uh, getting by at least I know a few people that sort of get in there but it's like uh, it's like somebody said to me good days, bad days so uh, we'll uh, have to see But uh, I'm heading home now. Uh, might have a nap before work. Or I might just stay awake. I don't know yet. But uh, oh, 20 here. Uh, not enforceable. That's size is new. Shows how long it's been since I've been out this way. So yeah, I'll sign off there in uh, Take It Easy if you're going out, ride safe, be safe, all the usual crap and um, <laughs> hopefully uh, get to see some more people this year, new faces, old faces and I 
I'm not going to get to take this corner at the speed limit. Maybe if I accelerated I could have. But I can see through the trees! Right, so take care, all that crap, and I'm definitely going now. Since I've now stuck behind a tractor. Which I think he's going to go down a nice road. <laughs> 